David Barr, so excited to be with here with you. I'm Stella Treese, Chief of Staff at GitLab. Can you introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, I'm, I'm David Barr. I'm the um, Head of Software Engineering at, at Aussie Broadband. We're a, sort of a, you know, an up and coming um, telecommunications provider based out of Australia. Can you tell me a bit more about what you do there? You know, a reasonably sized software engineering team. Um, we, we do a lot of internal development, so, um, you know, supporting systems for our, our staff, um, but we also have, you know, customer facing portals and applications and things that we, we build, um, yeah, build bespoke applications for. Great. And how is GitLab in your life? GitLab's great. Uh, we, we introduced it about, about two years ago. Um, we were using some very rudimentary um, sort of Git tooling um, back then and had no CI CD to speak of. And yeah, we, we felt um, our, our business was, was, was in a growth phase and, and st still is. Um, and we, we read it, really needed to accelerate um, our growth, both, both as a company, but also um, in terms of our software engineering and, and GitLab fit, fit the bill quite nicely in that space for us. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Um, how did GitLab fill that role that you needed? Yeah, we, we started started with the free version of GitLab, um, the open source edition, um, initially, and and that worked quite quite well. It replaced that a lot of tooling um, that we, that we had with a, with that sort of that all in one package. You know, have to deal with multiple systems. It was just put it all into GitLab, and, and it was a lot yeah a lot easier for us to manage. What does the world before and after look like? What what more can you do, or what did the benefits been for your team? Before GitLab, it was a you know, very rudimentary process. We'd have to sort of monitor it a lot more closely and make sure it wasn't going to break anything and, and that sort of stuff. Um, we weren't doing, you know, we weren't doing the testing to the same extent that we are now. So obviously testing is part of the pipeline too. So there's a lot, of, a lot more confidence um, that what we're deploying is, is going to work for us and, and, and work first time and not have any any issues. Is there anything else you wanted to add? I, I'm very happy. It's great to hear the validation. We've used a lot of open source source tooling and and having GitLab as, as open source has been, been key for us. Um, definitely never removed that as an offering. Um, and I noticed um, you've been actually bringing features back into to open source. And, you know, I, I think it's a, it's a great way of being able to give back to the, to the open source community by contributing to GitLab as well. So. Um, can you tell me a bit about what it's meant to be part of that community? How, how you interact um, with that community um, is, is really, yeah, it's telling. And the, the way GitLab staff um, do that is really embracing, welcome, open to feedback. They provide feedback. It's just just like you're a staff member, basically, is, is how, I, how I'd say it. Like the, the, the approach they take to community contributions is, is that is the exact same approach they take to a staff merge request, and, and that's a fantastic approach. For you personally, what has GitLab done for you? Just not having to manage um, multiple different different systems. It's just a bit of a it's a bit of a nightmare, really. Like um, as as I said, with, especially with that upgrade process, the installation upgrade is really easy. I don't, we don't have to worry about it too much, and it just. It's just a peace of mind thing. I'm not spending my days tackling other systems. GitLab just does its thing and it does it well and I don't really have to worry about it. This was wonderful. Thanks so much.